Welcome to another one of my quick videos. I am going to fry some okra. My husband got rid of the package I was going to show you. So, oh well, we just use that for imagination. Now, I'm using actually frozen okra. And what I did is I rinsed them off good and then I dried them. I dried them with paper towel. Okay, my okra is good and dried. I'm going to place it in a bowl. And again, very important to keep your hands very well and clean because again, a lot of foods you have to be on contact with. All right. Now, I beat one egg. It's well beaten. I'm going to pour it across the okra. All right. I need a spoon. Give me one second. All right. I'm going to stir this up very well. See that? Now, my dry ingredients. I put a cup of yellow cornmeal. Now, you can jazz up your, your seasoning. I'm using some Slap Your Mama seasoning. It, it not only has salt and pepper in it, but it also has... Uh, spices, hot spices. I'm going to put a little pepper, black pepper, a little garlic, garlic powder, and last but not least, some onion powder. All right, here we go. Now, I'm going to shake this up. I'm going to mix it up really good. You want to mix it real good because, again, you don't want to take a bite over here and it tastes different from the second bite. So, okay. Now, again, you kind of want it dry as possible. So, I'm going to take my strainer. And I'm going to place the okra so the, at, the extra yolk egg I'll put it right here, can I drain off of it. Alright. Because again, you know it's pretty, okra is pretty slimy. So, I don't have slime coming through. So, what I'm going to do, I have my, okay, again, I do not see any of the liquids coming off the okra, so I'm going to take my spoon, and I'm going to spoon it into my dry goods, so we can get ready to, all right. Now, I find it easier to put it in a Ziploc bag and shake it up like shake and bake. Because again, I want it to be very well incorporated together. Okay. Mm. Looks good to me. Now, I'm going to I'm going to, like I said, please make sure your hands are very good and clean. It's important because when you're when you're cooking, there's no telling what you're gonna to have to put your hands on. When you cooking for your loved ones, you don't want nobody sick. Because your hand isn't clean. 
You know what? Okay. Now we're done. So now we're going to go to the stove. Ooh. Ah. Let's turn our fire down. Okay, we're over to the stove. Again, I'm going to use one as a tester. Let me know that the fire needs to go up. Okay, I see my sample one. It, the grease is ready. So we're going to carefully put these down in the grease. Well, we're going to let them... Oh, I don't know. You don't want to put too many in because then they're going to start sticking. See how they rise up to the top? It doesn't take them long at all to cook. I'm going to get my strainer and I'll be right back. Okay, see, I've cooked them for three minutes. Now, some like them light brown and some like them a golden brown. So we're going to give it about two more minutes. So, to cook okra, you're looking at anywhere from three to five minutes, and this should be done. Okay. You know what? Actually, it's been five minutes. And that's because my brother and my brother-in-law prefer it to be a little darker, so... Again, you can quickly cook these in a matter of three minutes. It depends on your preference of, of darkness. I'm going to take these out and start up another batch and I'll be back. Okay, they are ready they look delicious they are they're they're still um moist they're great listen if you enjoyed this video it's real quick please subscribe if you have not give me some support share like god bless you all be aware of your surroundings there's too much going on out here so again, from T's Kitchen, love you all. Until next time. Okay, I got two tasters. Tell me what you think. <laughs> he just picked it up with his hand. <laughs> Mm, lovely, lovely, wonderful, wonderful. Has a certain superb taste and just makes your taste buds want more and more and more. It's great. And they're hot. <laughs> <laughs> and they're good. Mm -hmm. In T's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. In T's Kitchen. Well, thank you so much, everybody. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe if you have not. Share, like. And ring that notification bell. Every time I come out with a video, it'll notify you to see what's cooking in T's kitchen. Okay, bye.